Carlos, welcome to the Digimedia Pro's Expo coverage here at SIGGRAPH 2016. Uh, and uh, you, we're here at Cinema 4D. Now, you're not with Cinema 4D, but you are an independent filmmaker that uses Cinema 4D, right? That's right, yeah. So tell us a little bit about your background. What kind of films do you work on? Uh, well, I'm a, a filmmaker from New York. I've been making films since the age of 10. Um, I uh, made my first feature film at the age of 16. Wow. And uh, I was just here to talk a little bit about my last feature. Um, what that, was your last feature about? It's called Retina. Uh, it's about a young woman who uh, participates in a medical study okay. in New York City. All right. And is uh, unknowingly brainwashed into committing an act of terror in New York City. Oh, wow. And what did you, did you write it? I wrote it, yeah. You wrote, wrote it, directed the whole thing? Yeah. So you're, you're truly an independent filmmaker? I'm truly, yes. <laughs> what did you shoot it with? Uh, I shot it with, actually, I mean, it was shot years ago because the, the whole project took about six years of work. Oh, okay. I did all post-production myself. So okay. I did the, the score, the original score. Oh, wow. Uh, the visual effects, the 5.1 surround mix. Oh, you're that. very talented, man. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I mean, it was that process of like learning how to do those things that took right. so long. Sure, um, sure. But yeah, um, so so that kind of got me into Cinema 4D, trying to learn how to do those things in order to to get the visual effect shots done for the film. So, so what did you use Cinema 4D for? Uh, well, uh, there's a few destruction is se a destruction sequence in the film at some point, and um, so I, I used Cinema 4D to get for most of those shots to do some of the uh, these these known locations being destroyed, and you know. Um, so it was mostly for those, you know, for these structures, these architectural uh, structures. Yeah. Yeah. So did you use the full version or the light version that comes with like After Effects? I actually used the, uh, the studio version, the Cinema 4D studio. studio. Yeah, what the is the version. difference between like the light version in After Effects and the full version? Well, I mean, you get a lot more when it comes to like uh, simulating, you know, rigid body di dynamics and doing these kind of destruction scenes like I was talking about. I see. Um, you get more like just the whole package. It comes with everything, uh, like more textures, more models, and uh, so you know I, I've actually never used anything else besides right. the full. I mean I've dabbled in the light a little bit here and there, but uh, but there's integration between Cinema 4D Studio and After Effects, right? Well, yeah, and that was the thing that was I I've used After Effects so much to do my compositing. So right. using using Cinema 4D that has such a direct link into After Effects was perfect for getting things done and and you know in a timely manner, especially when you're doing everything yourself. Right. Uh, to be able to do that, go back and forth, you know, and and uh, make adjustments. And over the years working on this, Maxon and Adobe have sort of strengthened that, you right. know, that that bind that they have and that that transition between going from one to the next and back and forth, so it's... Yeah, I recently saw a, a demo, um, actually we did a tutorial on our site, digimediapros.com, and um, it's it's a full integration, so you're not rendering out of Cinema 4D, it's a full, so you can go back to Cinema 4D, edit, and it refreshes immediately in After Effects. Well, yeah, that's, that's the great thing about it, is you can see what you're doing, because in compositing, that's what it's all about, is sort of the final product that you're, right. you're looking for that, what it's going to look like in the end. Right. So having that direct link, yeah, helps you see what you're going to get and, and allows you to make changes on the fly very easily. Right. Yeah. And then to keep it straight, After Effects is used for compositing and Cinema 4D you're using for creating 3D models? Or for 3D models, yeah, and uh, a lot of, yeah, so I would, I would do a lot of the 3, all the 3D was in Cinema 4D. Yeah. And then actually instead of using um, instead of doing too much fluid simulation and trying to do things uh, inside of Cinema or in, in some other application, I would do a lot of the compositing of uh, explosions and smoke and all that inside After Effects with the 3D that I rendered out from Cinema 4D. So right. it was that back and forth that really helped actually. Right. Uh, and using these composite elements, uh, you know, to speed things up. And you want it to look good, but you also want to get things done in a timely manner. You know, right. When so you're balance. Doing some, yeah. And I was doing so much other stuff while I was working on this, it was kind of important to have that, you know. And, and that's why I chose, I mean, like, I was using, I, I've dabbled in other 3D applications. Yeah. But Maxon and, like, Cinema 4D, when, when I started using it, it's the only thing that felt like this one, this all-in-one product, you know, where, like, I could do everything and keep track of it, more importantly, the, the organization of it, you know, keeping, keeping track of where I am while scoring an hour of music and, like, you know, so that... Yeah, yeah. That's a really important part of it. So for indie filmmakers that want to do some VFX, what one tip would you give them? Uh, one tip. Yeah, one tip. Anything. 
know what you want. Okay. Yeah. Because that's what it's all about. You know, everything that you do is to support what you want to, to say in the end. And, um, and the tools are there now. And you just, right. you just have to decide what, what you're saying. And, yeah. and, and you've got them to say it. So. Yep, that's a great tip. Uh, Carlos, if people want to learn more about you, uh, do you want to give a URL or? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can find me on Twitter at I am Carlos Ferrer, and then I've got a website, um, carlosferrer.com. Excellent. So. Well, Carlos, great to meet you, man. Thanks.